I've been looking for you all over the house. I wanted to see if Marissa was back yet. She's not. You can bet she will make this about her and that we will suffer the consequences for a very long time. I know. It's tough on everyone. Which is why I tried to keep it a secret. You and your secrets, Cal. You need a walk-in closet for all of your skeletons. I promise you. This is the end. Yeah? You don't have an evil twin? You're not really an alien? But now that the truth is out there, the case will go away. I'll be free. I just can't believe you cheated on your wife. It was hell. And it never happened again. Never will. I have everything I need from this marriage. I hope you feel the same. Don't put this back on me, Cal. I wasn't. I was merely saying. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm tired of lying. I want this whole thing to be over. And I... I need you to forgive me. I'm gonna go try and find Marissa. What does that mean, you forgive me? I don't know. Hi. Hey. It wasn't Saul Lindsay? Tried. Oh, poor girl. How goes it here? Fantastic. Kirsten's locked herself in a closet. And other than requesting a power bar be slid under the door, she isn't speaking to me. But on the plus side, there's plenty of mushu available. I'm sorry. Uh, I just I want you to know that I'm sorry I did not invite you. Kid, this is so far from being your fault. Well, you don't think it's yours? No, but no good deed goes unpunished. Which explains why my wife is holed up next to a shoe rack. Hey, you mind if I talk to her? What's your life? Ryan. I don't really feel like talking to anyone right now. All right. I know. I was hoping we could talk about Lindsay. Is she okay? No. Well, not right now, but I guess it depends. Depends on what? On whether or not she figures out she's part of a family that's pretty good at letting in new members. I'm ready to start referring to her as that. But Lindsay seems like a really great girl. 